Hi and welcome to Real Magic Review, clearly the finest place on the internet for your unbiased, unaffiliated reviews. This week I am reviewing Daniel Garcia's Mint Box. So before we move on to the review, a couple of things, uh, first of which is can you like and subscribe? It really does make all the difference uh, if you're into this and feel free to share this on social media, that would be lovely. The difference it makes is amazing. So but if you, if you, get, that, if you get that inkling to do that, go for it, I really won't mind. And the other thing is go and have a look at cardmagiccourse.com. Card Magic Course is my complete card magic course from beginner to professional and beyond. It's about making you the magician you wanna be in and creating a safe space where you can ask questions about anything you're working on without being judged or anything like that as you may be in other places. So cardmagiccourse.com. Um, I'm currently giving away a free tutorial of the most powerful moving card magic. It's the spread curl. I use it all the time. Uh, you get that by just going to cardmagiccourse.com forward slash cull. So thank you very much for your patience with that. Very important. Let's get on with the review. So released back in, I think, very early March this year, 2018, this is Daniel Garcia's first release in a long time. Now, if you're new to the game, you would have heard who Daniel Garcia is, because obviously you can still get his stuff, his DVDs, etc. but very prolific from kind of uh, up to about 2005, and then seemed to kind of disappear. Now, apparently he didn't disappear, he was doing what he always was doing, which was consulting for TV magicians, because he's a very creative magician, very creative thinker. So when this came out, I was kind of interested. So the effect is not a new one. It's a card to box effect. And we've seen loads of this going back to the Tommy Wonder card in box, John Allen's destination box, um, the Kennedy box, the original one, of course, and, uh, and toy box, this Jonathan Cam one that came out, which was a PDF, which was a gimmickless one. Uh, and then all the clear ones came out uh, seemingly in about the same week. Uh, I'm sure they didn't, but it felt like it, which was, I think, started with uh, Mr. Uh, what was it called? Destiny Clarity Box. That was it. Uh, Clarity Box, which was David Regal's. And then there was Mystery Solved by David Penn. And then there was John Allen's Paragon. John Allen obviously had the, uh, the Destination Box as well. Uh, did I say that? I probably did. So we've got loads of them. But this seems to bear the closest resemblance to a Mark Southworth one, which is, um, it was Tin Opener. Okay, it seems to look very, very similar because that was in a kind of box as well but I'm not sure I'm not, this isn't a review of tin opener I generally don't know the the method of that one so I'm not really going to go into that because there was a bit of argument on on the forums with that but this is about Daniel Gussie's mint box independently um, so first of all you, that's what you get all right I'm not going to go deep into the unboxing I'm not really done but it is quite cool and it's always nice to get and you know especially when you spend uh, 60 dollars it's quite nice to get a look at that to get that in it you know you like that it's a bit like it's a bit like an iPhone case, probably you know, probably on purpose, deliberately. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> on purpose. What am I? Seven. Uh, so, but it's cool, isn't it? And that's that's kind of what you want. It'd be nice to have that, wouldn't it? To, and and it, it's protection in your magic case as well. So that's what you get, and you get the. Um, I've got to get out. Hang on. You get the box, and that is what the box looks like inside. That's it. The gimmicks box. The gimmicks box. So. Uh, so I was glad about that, you know, 50 quid, it's nice to get something that doesn't turn up in a just a sort of tacky bag. Uh, you get a box, but that doesn't mean it's a good trick. So first of all, the main differences between this and the others. What's different about this and the other one? Well, so first of all, it's not one of the clear ones. Uh, so that's a different trick if you think about it. If you're seeing a clear one, you're seeing the card in there before you start the trick, so you know it can't be that card, but then it is. Whereas this one, even though you know it can't be that card because it's signed and it's in the box, you start the trick first and then open the box, and it's a kind of surprise that there's a card in there, especially if you've kind of introduced the box quite nonchalantly. But we'll go into that in a bit. The other difference is there's no tip out. Now in a lot of these routines you have to tip the box up, which is no bad thing, I'm not judging it, but you have to tip the box up as you probably would if there's a card in it to put it in your hand. This you can reach forward and lift, you, you actually see your hand going over and lifting the card out into your other hand, that's the effect. So that's the other difference and the box can be at all times in someone else's hand. Okay, so you don't even have to pick the box up off the hand. The box is on the hand, you pick it up, you, put the, you pick the card out of it and it goes into it. That's what they see and they're still holding the thing. So I was, for some reason, quite nervous about this. So this is hideous, I'm going to go into this cafe now. They don't know I'm going in there and I'm going to perform this for the first time ever in front of a human being and I hate it. No matter how long I do magic for, sorry, it's noisy. I still get nervous about doing a brand new trick for the, and it's quite easy, but it, oh, it's horrible. 
I think I was nervous because of the way it works. It's one of those ones when you kind of go, am I going to get away with this? But I was also nervous for another reason, which we will go on to it when we talk about the challenges of this trick. Um, but all I've got to say is that the minute I performed it for the first time, even though I performed it quite badly, it, it, it flew and people really liked it. Uh, I did it three times. Each time it got a little bit better, I was a bit more relaxed. And again, the reactions were great every time and under quite a lot of scrutiny as well, because I'm not somewhere where everybody's hammered and they're kind of not really focusing. These were people in a very sterile situation, you know, looking at the trick without any really any misdirection. So as a trick, straightaway effect, there's nothing to worry about. It's a great effect, as are all of the destination boxes. Okay, you're going to be happy with the effect, but that's not all this mint box has to it. And if you've read any of the forums or you've had chats about it, you know there are a few issues we need to talk about. But before we get on to the issues we need to talk about, uh, there's loads of good stuff. Obviously, the effect, we've talked about that. The DVD, uh, Daniel Garcia has clearly been in the gym in his few years off. So, uh, but it, it, it's a great DVD. It's really nicely done. He's got a great presence. Uh, I've always really liked watching Daniel Garcia. I've loved his stuff. I like his thinking. He comes up with some really original stuff. So, and he's lost a bit of that kind of street creddy kind of thing which is that's god that makes me sound so old doesn't it but you know when you see it when you've got six dvds of it and it's a bit yo and it's kind of like it's uh it just seemed a bit more <laughs> god i'm 45 you know i'm sorry i'm sorry forget it uh but brilliant all brilliant right so dvd is great he tells you everything you need to know he, he tells you about the challenges of it so that's good it's not like i'm slagging it off um but you you learn everything you need to learn and he's got two routines basically well he's got the main routine he does which is almost like a double a double um, uh, location thing, which oh, I'm kind of less keen on, uh, probably because I'm a bit lazy. Uh, but once you've done seen those DVDs, you, you've watched all of it, and you have to watch all of the DVD, right? All of it, because if you don't, something might happen, which will upset you quite a lot after you've spent your sixty dollars. It's a tin, right? It's a mint tin, and it's a cool mint tin because it looks like a mint tin. So it doesn't look like a gimmick tin because it isn't from the outside. It's only gimmicks on the inside. So you're getting, you're having something that is that is organic looking, meaning you could have it in your pocket anyway. Now, when I did it, I kind of got it in my pocket first, as if it was in the way, put it on the table, and then got the cards out. And then after that, I said, "Hang on, I'll hold that a minute and put the put the mint box on someone's hand, or or left it on the on the table, which you can do both." Um, so it feels realistic. Now, now, it's not just that it's realistic. It's also that it can kind of go in your pocket anyway once it's closed. So with some of the boxes, they're quite bulky. So if you've got a jacket on, it kind of sticks right out. And this is a little mint tin, so it can go in sideways. You haven't got to keep it upright or anything because it kind of, the way it's set up, it, it, will, it will maintain itself. So I've had no problems with that. So there is loads to like about this, uh, but there are some issues. And one of the things is the delicacy of the gimmick. So this is a gimmick tin, and if you're like me, I can be very clumsy, especially under performance pressure. And as you've seen, so can a lot of people, even if you're a pro, all right, it doesn't mean you're not professional just because you get a bit clumsy and nervous every now and then, and, and definitely the first few times I perform a trick, I'm a bit all over the place with my delicacy, even with slights. If I've got a new site and I take it out, for some reason something happens from the practice room into the... The, the, and something happens to performance when my, my fingers just go rubbish and it takes quite a few times to, to get that right. And that's fine, you know, the performance is part of your practice and I'm happy with that, but there's one thing you can do and if you do it wrong with this gimmick that will completely knacker it. And Daniel says this on the DV, he's very honest, he said if you do this one thing, you'll knacker it. And that, to me, gave me one extra thing to think about when I was performing for the first time, which I didn't want in my head. Not only was it if I get this wrong, I'm gonna look like a dick, but it was, I'm gonna get this wrong, look like a dick, and my 50 quid uh, mint tin is completely knackered. So, do I have an issue with that? Is it still worth the money? First of all, it's it's so subjective, all right? You, you the, re the reactions I just got, I'm performing it quite badly for the first time. Straight away, I, I was excited about doing the trick, and I'm like, straight away, it's going in my repertoire. I'm always looking, it is a closer. I always say I'm not really looking for another closer, but I could happily finish with that, because it's right there, it's in the hands. To me, it probably, if you're not doing anything like it, because all the destination boxes are quite expensive, 
it's probably worth getting. I've looked at it and I think you can replace them and re if you break it, you can remake it. Now, if, if Daniel was selling replacements, which apparently they were thinking about, I don't think they are at the moment. I'd happily buy them if they weren't too overpriced. Um, but I think if you thought about it a little bit and got a bit crafty, you could, if you broke it in the way he says, you could, you could mend it. It'll be a bit of a faff, um, but I'm sure there are people I haven't really looked into it online that could tell you how to do that. But just be aware, and it's, you know, it annoyed me a bit because I wanted to practice it a lot. I wanted to get it really fluid, and I felt that the gimmick, the more I practice, was in danger of becoming a little bit sort of worn, not worn, but I'm not going to give up, I'm not going to tell you what the gimmick is, because right? that's not my place to do that, but but I was worried that if I practiced it like 300 times, it would start losing it. Uh. So I was a bit worried about that, but then when I performed it, I was okay with it. Now, I haven't had this for that long, so it might be the case in two, I mean, I've read people online that have had like 30 performances with it, and then it's broken, and they've had to replay it and all that, so just, just be aware of it. It's not really a negative, because it's, people are very honest about it, but think about that. If you want to get something that is going to be more repeatable without the risk of that and you don't have to worry about it you might want to go for one of the other things but they're all pretty expensive so so make your choice so uh, a lot of people again were worried about the fact if you don't get altoids it's altoids tin right in your country you know i don't really see them here in the uk but to be honest i don't really know whether we you buy them or not and that's the point isn't it you know if you can't get if it looks like a mint tin right and you can't get them in your country don't worry because a lot of people probably aren't going to know that I didn't. Okay, I know I haven't really seen them, but I can't remember where. Oh no, I have, but I can't remember where I've, I've seen whether I've seen them in shops or on magic tricks or in films or anything. And I don't think people are going to scrutinise that because not everybody's some sort of mint genius that knows all the mints you can get. You know, you're not going to come across that many mint fans, so I wouldn't worry about that. Uh, if you if you are really worried about it, just say something about it. You know, oh, I got this when I was in the states. Some mints. You know, the, it, people aren't that. The scripting. It, people say scripting is very important. I'm, I know it is, but don't worry too much. You're not being over scrutinised. You've got, a, and it, to them, it's not a gimmick. It's just a box you've got out of your pocket that's a mint box. So, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. And I just, like I said, did it three times, and not one person said, "Oh, can you get them in this game?" Yeah, no. So. That's fine, don't worry about it, it's not worth your time, life's too short. Uh, the other thing is, is it examinable? Now, again, I just did it three times. Someone did pick it up and said, can I have a look inside quickly? And I kind of, I was managing those, so I wasn't going to let them kind of really scrutinise it, but I said, yeah, have a quick look. Very relaxed, and they looked it up, and it looks completely innocent. So you've got to have a really good look at it, and I wouldn't allow that in the situation, but I knew they were very polite, and they weren't going to start digging their fingers into it. So it is something that, you know, when you buy it and open it up, you'll go, hang on, where is it? Well, you, you won't... You, you want to fiddle with it and don't, right? Don't fertile with it until you've watched the whole, like I said before, the whole download. Um, but examinable, it can happen on their hands with a bit of audience management. Don't worry, all that kind of stuff is okay. Now, is it easier than something like the Kennedy box? No. Uh, well, yeah, that's about the same, the, the, the original Carter boxes. I think it's easier than John Allen's Paragon, the, the, and that's the only other clear box I've played with. I find that knacky as hell. Uh, I've, I've got it now and I think I'll be alright performing it, but it took me a lot longer to get it. That's, that's quite a good thing for me, I like that. But uh, this isn't going to take you as long. It, it really is. The hardest thing about this is actually how easy it is because you, you're you going to want to put too much work into it. You know, like when you see when you first learn your first coin vanish and you kind of do that and take the coin and it, it, nobody ever does that. You, you're in danger of kind of over playing it. And if you watch Daniel do it, it's, it's, it's a shuttle pass kind of movement, but it's so... Yeah, it can be really slow because that's kind of how you would take the card out. So the hardest thing is actually how easy it is, is, is understanding how easy the thing is and not to overplay it. The negatives are the delicacy. That's the big one. Uh, the fact that it's another card to box and there's loads of them already. Uh, you might not be able to get them in this country, but I don't care. And um, and I think that's about it. I think there's there's no... It's a bit small, so if you want to use it for big for parlour, you might be better with something like the Clarity Box works very well for parlour because um, it's kind of bigger and it's got that big big sticker on the front of it. But um, yeah, but it, I can't really think of anything that negative. And again, I know I haven't really slated anything on this review show yet, but I'm kind of the point of this is to prevent you buying rubbish. It's not just to slate rubbish. And again, nobody's really sent me any rubbish, and I haven't bought any rubbish to review because I don't want to. Uh, so. 
I'll, hopefully you'll make your mind up with, with what I've told you and, and just know it's a good effect. That's, that's kind of all you need to know. So that's, it's a big thumbs up for me. Um, you can buy this, I'm not gonna, I haven't been given this by, a, by somebody selling it, like I said, so you can buy this anywhere. Um, just Google it, Daniel Garcia Mint Box. And like I said, $60, 50 quid, and keep an eye out. I think it's put out by Penguin, by the way, I think. Um, so it's put out by Penguin. So if you're looking, like I said, they were thinking about selling replacement doobies for it. So if, keep a lookout on their look today and I couldn't find anything. Um, but I'm sure they'll, they'll be able to let you know if you get in touch. So Daniel Garcia's Mint Box, have a great one. Thank you very much. So thank you very much indeed. Uh, now, a lot of you have been commenting lovely comments, uh, which is really, really lovely. I've yet to get a negative one, but that's gonna happen soon, isn't it? Um, so, and the shares have been great. The, the, the people on social media, it's really, really important. I say this every time. I really can't do it without you. Okay, so please like and subscribe. It's the only way I know this thing's working because it is taking me a lot of time, which is a good thing, uh, but it's nice to know you're there. Have a brilliant day. Thank you so much for your continued support. You know who you are. Uh, my name's Steve Faulkner, and this is Real Magic Review.